up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Back in here with one more video. When women treat men like kings, gosh, we must go over it, all right? We critique a lot of the bad behavior that we see on the internet and across the world, but the ones that know how to do it correctly, we must put value on their name. Without further ado, One of the few women that will have no issue in answering what she brings to the table. I think all women that are watching this video right here should ask themselves this following question. What skills and or talent have I developed for making a man feel happy? Do you know how to trim hair like this wonderful young lady right here? Do you know how to give massages? How good are you at making sure that his belly is satisfied? Are you a cleaner? I don't know, whatever it is, your talent. And if you got none, maybe it's time you start working on some. You work on all of these talents to get a job in the workplace. How about working on all of these talents to get yourself a man? Food. What you got? Mashed potatoes, macaroni, and a pulled pork sandwich. This, this is, is technically my breakfast since 4 p.m. <laughs> you just woke up. Woo! Oh, your best friend. Copyright, copyright. Okay, what we got here? Hold on, let's 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 slow this down. Oh, fantastic work! Look at that, that smile on his face. Well, damn! <laughs> like, look at that face, ladies. Don't you want to see us just happy? Let go! Oh, oh, with the ego on top, she's creative. Let's go. Nice. She's a winner. Look at it. Look at, look, <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. This is how you get men that just want to take care of you. Pure joy, unadulterated. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, all right, ooh, she knows what she's doing. But I think it's so important for women to see this because typically modern women today associate his happy face with laying the viscous innards in on him, but no. There's other ways to do it, ma'am. This is a well-fed man that would have no issues in slaying the dragon at the foot of the house to protect you. So shout out to all of the feminine, beautiful women out there that never drank the feminist Kool-Aid. Would any of you guys be down to FaceTime your boyfriend and ask him to pick a number one through a hundred? Yes. Hey, pick a number one through 100. 69. All right, so you get $69 to buy anything for your boyfriend in the mall. And if you're subscribed to me on YouTube, I'll also double the budget. I'm not. All right, I we're going into packs. So you said he's really picky, right? He, he's not super picky, but he just doesn't buy a lot of stuff for himself. So he's hard to shop for. That looks cool. That's, That's cool. actually cute. Yeah, that one's sick. Get that I like one. this one. <laughs> she cannot reach that. <laughs> Need like a little stool? I got it. You got it? <laughs> hey! All right, so how do you think we did? I think I did pretty good. Are I think good? he's going to like it. All right, she's going to go surprise her boyfriend right now. All right, so you remember how the mall, I asked you to pick a number between 1 and 100. Yeah. You picked 69. Got on TikTok, gave me $69 to spend on you. So that's when I got you. Oh, actually? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, Avery. Are you for real? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah, no, I'm being like completely serious. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Let me talk to y'all real quick, all right? I've been utilizing my new Exter wallet for the past month. And let me tell you guys, it is the absolute best wallet that I've ever had in my entire life. Let me give you a quick walkthrough, all right? So this is the front of the wallet. This is the Parliament wallet right here. Bam, open that sucker up. You got a little space here for a money clip. 
that's all you need. You don't need too much cash nowadays, all right? Cash is dirty. Probably 5,000 people touched this before me. You don't need that much cash nowadays. Now, listen, you can store up to 12 cards within the wallet. Now, you're probably saying, MTR, how can you fit 12 cards in this, right? Watch this. Clip this on the bottom right here. Bam! Look at that. All the cards just pop up right there. It's like a damn magic trick. Watch one more time. Hit it on the bottom right here. You at the cash register, they ask for your money. Bam! It's like a staircase of money right here. They all pop out. I absolutely love this feature. And on top of all of this, there's RFID blocking built right into the wallet. So credit card skimmers can't take advantage of your boy. And listen, guys, you're in luck. Utilize my link and my code down in the description box down below to take advantage this holiday season for 55% off this is the perfect gift for yourself to upgrade your image and any of the ladies that are watching this right now buy this for your man trust me huge upgrade he'll love you for it the extra wallet is the perfect gift this holiday season trust me guys it's upgraded my life and i know it's gonna upgrade yours click my link down in the description box down below and get yours today are, are pretty but unfortunately you're just pretty mm. Mm. Damn. There's nothing else. There's no depth. Hey, do, 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 you no. Know, do you notice, like, um, especially in this generation, social media, that everything you look at, women are just so, these young girls, all they have to offer is their body. Yes. Everything. Everything yes. is breast, behind, yes. and cat. That's all it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's stimulating when you see a young lady just... Have clothes on now. That's the new mm -hmm. sexy. I would absolutely agree with you. Oh snap! She got some. I would on. absolutely agree. Yes. I think that I get. You know, it's it's very awkward um, when there is a, a sister that is dressed provocatively, mm -hmm. and then when men and I'm talking like all across different um, genres, you know, different um, nations Racist. and all that. When they see me, the door gets open. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Have, right. have right. a, right. a blessed right. day. Yes. Things like that. Right. It's just like the ultimate respect. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in Second Address, when it talks about how a whore envieth uh, yes, a right and righteous woman, right. mm -hmm. I find that even more so now. Mm -hmm. And I think that there are, people are realizing that there is respect that they are not getting based on the way that they are carrying themselves. These sluts, mm -hmm. these sluts out here, they had a hot girl decade. Right. Damn. 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 Since the 90s, right. and since it's Biggie was alive, they would throw that thing out there. All truths and facts, no lies. The only thing I disagree with is that we're beginning an era where putting on clothes is going to be the more popular <laughs> option or route to go. I understand that all trends run in cycles. I just don't see this one happening anytime soon. El sueño de todo hombre. Hey, hello. Okay. All right. El amor, ¿cómo le fue? Mi amor means my love, I believe. Okay. Nice greet at the door. Okay. The chair is ready. Give me your bag, senor. Siatate. Okay. You can close the door, ma'am. Taking off his shoes. Great job. He don't got no socks on. Let's get the fan ready. All right, so we can cool off those sweaty ass toes you just came in the house with. Okay. Got him on his favorite shirt. This is a service right here. This is a woman that respects her man. Oh yeah. What's the chair for? He's taking off his shoes again. Okay. He's reclined up. Good. Good job with the double remote. Respect. Oh. What I like so much about this one is that you could tell that this is probably a modestly earning man with a woman who doesn't care about the materialistic things. She effectively took this chair and made it into his throne. Pay attention, ladies. And shout out to Sister Shahrazad Ali, who said, everything that men want from women costs nothing at all. Just time, respect, and effort. What about you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Canada. Uh, the highest level of education completed was high school. I decided not to go to college. And I'm, I said I'm single, right? 
another problem. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just Single. say, all right. Just one more time. And then, uh, and then, what do you do for work? I'm a writer. Okay. Yeah, this oh, is the writer's 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 writ
it's we in the best interest of the child. If you can do that, then you're being a great mother. But if you ever make a decision in the best interest of you, and it never benefits the child, you that selfish bitch that I'm fucking talking about. It's gonna be if some it don't apply, this let it fly. Deuces. At least 40% of people who are in this program today were telling me that they're single and they want to marry a man who is a provider and protector. And I will tell you, the key to finding a man who is a provider and protector is to learn how to respect that men are authority. We live in a society where we feel like we're equal. Men will never feel the desire to protect you. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. When women ask me this new modern question of what your love language is, I give them two answers. My purpose and my respect. Let's focus on the respect one right now. To all 28.2 women that follow this channel right here, listen to me. A man's respect is directly tied into his status that you can provide for him. Disrespect him in public or in front of his boys, over talk him or throw him slights is the quickest way that you can diminish his status, thus diminishing his understanding of your respect for him. It's really simple, ladies. Being feminine, beautiful, inspiring him to do better while also working on yourself is how you're gonna increase his status and therefore his respect level. That's how you keep men. Wow, of course. Why am I not surprised? Of course it's not enough for you to work four straight shifts at the hospital, saving lives for 48 hours like a damn hero. No, you gotta come home, cook for me, make sure I'm fed, then go to the gym for two hours and prioritize your own health. What are you doing? It was only 45 minutes. I can't propose twice. The wedding is only three months away, yet not a day goes by where you don't let me remember, oh my God, I should have married this girl yesterday. You know what? Go get in the shower. And when you get out, I'm going to rub your back and rub your feet. Really? Go right now. Because okay. if I say it again, you're going to get kissed. dead ass look at my boyfriend sometimes be like oh my god i have the biggest crush on this boy and then remember that we're dating and i'm like oh, nice i bought dal in a car he has no clue and we're flying home tomorrow and this bad boy is going to be sitting at the airport waiting for him surprise <laughs> i got your car <laughs> In the car. Oh, you all saw me right here. <laughs> you did this? Yeah. Look. Just as free. Love you. Bye. Well, you guys are acting like you've never been apart or something. It's terrible. It's terrible. Troy. You're too cute. Oh, okay, okay. This just warms my ice cold, westernized, modern heart. But this is what happens after a lifetime of prioritizing your connections with people. And I'm not talking about your digital connections. I'm talking about in person connections in relationships with people. Family connections and human impact are a very important part of life. So make sure that you are doing the best to keep the best around you. I don't think I'm crazy. allowed models in my Why shoots anymore. No! No! <laughs> and she's even, she even touched you up and you stared at her. <laughs> <laughs>